Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, we wanted to thank you for giving us the right to be your children. Lord, we wanted to know you more and wanted to grow more in you with your in your anointing and of knowledge and wisdom. Thank you for revealing to us your, through your word and for your presence in our life, the divine deposit that you have filled us with. Lord, thank you for the time you have given us as a community to come together and learn the word of God. Lord, your word has taught us the truth and it has set us free. Your word has torn down the strongholds, healed our infirmities, delivered us from bondages and helped us to experience your agape love. We render ourselves to you to be the instruments of your love and power. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yeah, brother. Okay. How are you? I'm, I'm fine. Tell me. What are we studying today? We are continue, We Did we finish the uh, series uh, Inside Out? No, 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 no. Where have we reached? We yesterday uh, were talking about uh, that Revelation. Revelation uh, 11 and 11. Then we connected Hebrews 4, 14 and 16. Yes. Yeah, we spoke about uh, mercy and grace uh, and also for the seed when we use for others, harvest is when you use for self. So this is where we we what we covered yesterday. Okay. Yeah, living inside out. Yeah. Yeah, read, brother. Seventeen, verse seventeen. Yeah, two Corinthians four seventeen. For this slight momentary affliction is preparing us for an eternal weight of glory beyond all measure. Because we look not at what can be seen, but at what cannot be seen. For what can be seen is temporary, but what cannot be seen is eternal. What do you think about that? Yeah, it is very nice, but the only thing is in reality when you are under the, uh, you know, the affliction, no, you need to go above that is not very easy, brother. When you talk about others is fine. When you go through it, it's like, it is absolutely, uh, yeah, it is tough. I don't know about others, but, uh, you know, it is not very easy. What about the person who knows, who has learned swimming? Hmm. When he's swimming, you go and ask him, is it easy? Yeah. After learning. Huh? After learning. After learning, it may not be uh, difficult for him. What about your driving? Yeah, after learning, it's not difficult, but then the stress is always... What about there. your cycling? <laughs> yeah. What about everything that you're doing now effortlessly? Correct. Yeah, we need before, to... before you when you started it was tough. Yeah. When you stuck to it and practiced it and you went through the whole course, now is it difficult? Yeah. When you go through it fully, it is not. So every day the challenge is what? To face the to how to face the it's not how to face the sorry sorry hmm. how to overcome no it's not even that read it correctly baba for this a slight momentary affliction is preparing us for an eternal weight of glory beyond all measure 
then because we look not at what can be seen but what cannot be seen for what can be seen is temporary but what cannot be seen is eternal so what is the whole whole uh, battle about what? learning to look at the world not through learning it. to look at the world at something you can't see yeah ha huh? yeah that is where the uh, challenge is uh, brother you know so so if i want victory in my life is it going to say that there is a challenge and become a victim mindset or say i want to learn this principle so that i can master it and become successful i want to learn teach teach, uh, teach us how to so paul is talking about the unseen principles yes so just as the law of gravity is unseen hmm but is it active day and night it is active day and night in the same way the spiritual laws that the bible is talking about is also active day and night hmm it works the same way hmm so when i say god's word i am actually speaking god's spiritual laws hmm and when i say god's word the next point is i am going to talk everything about unseen and believing everything about unseen hmm so my question is that how how do we how do we believe this see now gravity you said gravity for me it doesn't matter whether gravity is there or not i mean there's something like that gravity is there so it really it really won't affect my day to day life it is not affecting your day to day life because yeah go and ask the pilot is before he takes the flight on out on the runway is he calculating the weight and everything the passenger weight the the weight of the cargo and all that and based on that calculation he has to accelerate with the wind pressure and everything yes other the the flight will not take off correct but as so a... so what is lifting the plane the air the air yeah can you see the air no so when is going at that speed the air is what is building the pressures up and lifting the plane up Correct. in the same way when i understand that god's word is unseen the written word is seen but no. when you speak that word out of your mouth can you see the word no it's only a sound yes so a sound like that a frequency of god's word mm. has got the potential to bring things from the unseen to the seen it is a system hmm okay do you open your mouth and speak when you are worried words yes words of worry yes but now if i going to tell you that those words of worry which you are speaking they are killers instead of that you speak the words of promises and see what happens hmm so which one will you accept I the will... spiritual law that comes from normal words or the spiritual law that comes from the god word i will uh, accept the spiritual uh, word that comes from god so so will you have to study the system then i have to yeah i have to study so teach us how the you know so, so that's what i'm saying spiritual forces are unseen hmm and these are the force which always work when you set them in motion hmm so that is why he's saying this light affliction which is but for a moment hmm is preparing for us now is here it is preparing in the king james it is working for us hmm now how many of us say the affliction is actually working for you or working against you
I, I don't know. Uh, I mean, if you ask me, I have mixed response. Mixed because you have got mixed response because you are looking at the thing seen. Mm. You are thinking about the things of the natural scene. And if that is the focus, then the affliction will never work for you. It will work against you. Mm. But if that same person is looking only at the unseen things that God has spoken in his word, then that affliction will not, um, you know, will not destroy you. Tell me, brother, how do you fix your eyes on the unseen? What is that you do how to fix the eyes on unseen? Okay. When you got a work mm. job, mm. did they give you an offer letter? Yes. How much did they put the figure? Pardon? ABC. ABC. Yeah. Okay. Did that ABC figure motivate you to go to work? Yes. Now, when you were working, did they show you how much they have deposited the first day? No. Were you on daily wages? No, it's on monthly wages. Monthly wages. So the whole month, did they show you any money? No. So did you still go to work? Yes. Why? <laughs> yeah, so that is uh, something... Why, which... why, why? Tell me why. Because that is you not... didn't see the money. Uh, pardon? You didn't see the money? Yes, I did not see the money. Then why did you go to work? Yes, yeah, that why did I go to work? Because they told me that you will give me. So Jesus also has told you, know, that in his word, if you abide in his word, he will give you. No, no, no. I am not uh, talking about uh, that. That is uh, that is about. Uh, oh, so, so my my question is, brother, and receiving. My, my question is, even though you can't see the salary or anything, hmm. you are confident that the company will give you after a month the salary. Correct. I'm not talking about praying and getting. I'm talking about how do you fix things on the... So that's what I'm trying to say. Ah. Because you are, now because you're good, the company is good and the company has promised you, hmm. you are still going to work because you're expecting the salary to come from the company, right? Hmm. So for me, first of all, to look at things unseen, I must know that when I'm looking at things unseen, it has got more authority, more power than the things which are seen. Hmm. So once I understand the system works that the unseen is the one that rules the physical world. Hmm. So where should I go then? To the seen or unseen? Yeah, I should go to the... The problem comes if a person is looking only on the things seen. Hmm. Things of the natural then that affliction will not work for you. Mm. It will go against you. Mm. Because you are continuously looking at things which are seen. Yeah. You only work for those people who are going to train to look at things which are not seen. For example, how does a person get healing? By the wounds of Jesus, you were healed. Now, yeah. Can he see the healing? No. But does he? Does the word of God demand that he uh, listens to the truth mm. and then make a call? Yeah. So before he can even make a call, 80 to 90 percent is already healed. Hmm. So all I have to do is shift over into the realm of the spiritual realm and begin to look at things which are not seen with my natural eye. You look at things with the eye of the spirit, mm. which is again the eye of faith. Mm. So everyday challenge is what? To look at through the eyes of faith. Yes. But do I look from the eyes of faith for the things which are of the kingdom? Or do you want to have the kind of faith which will solve our problem? Mm.
So what are the things that are not seen? A few examples. You tell me what are the things which are not seen. Okay, for, let's say somebody has got financial crisis. Now what? Yeah. Now tell me. Hmm. So has God promised you that he will supply all your needs? Yes. So am I relying on that or am I relying on how much loan is there to be paid full? Yeah, I have to rely on you know, what uh, you know God has promised. So what God has promised always is invisible. Yes. And all that you want to get victory is on th things which are visible. So both of them come under two different two different realm. One is the God's realm, one is the children's realm. Yeah, so there is a long term and a short term, no brother? It is always a process, brother. It is not a just a press a button and it will happen, no. Yeah, so that is where uh, the you know challenge you are talking about. When you have when you when you need something right now and you don't get it, how do you increase your faith and you are you're broken, you are done with it, you don't have a choice to go forward. How do we handle such situations? So when you have already decided to do things based on the word of God, mm. okay. So you're stuck in doing God's word, so there's no issues at all. The issue comes when you shift your focus from see from the from the unseen to the seen. Yeah. When a person has got a bank problem, uh, financial problem, and he goes to the bank to get a statement. So what he cannot see in the bank, uh, the financial. Uh, that what do you call that bank transactions that you get the print out statement 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 yeah so the bank statement shows you got minus mm. now the thing which is seen is giving you life or totally destroying you it will destroy you now, but a person is not looking at the things which are seen. He's looking at the things which are unseen. The promise of God. Mm. So now, how, how does it look? No, I understand what you're saying. It is uh, now... So only when you understand, brother. Only when you understand, your corresponding action will be based on understanding. Your action cannot be otherwise. And when you understand, understanding will give you the belief, the faith, everything. That is why the Bible says, if you want to ask anything, ask God for understanding. Because the thing in a financial crisis is that that person can see the lack in his life. He can see uh, things are not going the way he wanted. Praise God. So the pressure that has come against you is like a plane on the runway. Okay. And now all that you do need to do is attack it with full force so that the wind will, the air will carry the plane up. In the same way, the pressure will work for you and exceeding weight of glory if you will look at God's promises and not current situation. Hmm? Yeah. The current situation when you're looking at, it will kill you. But at the same current situation, you're saying, my God shall supply all my needs. How? According to his riches in glory through Christ Jesus. So if you look at things which are not seen, then 
that affliction will turn into glory. But if you are looking at the afflictions, that afflictions will bring worry and fear in you. Mm. So who are the people who are going to experience supernatural manifestation? Those who learn quickly to look at things not seen. Praise God. Praise God. Is it making sense? Yeah. Not yet. No, it is making sense. <laughs> I am not. I am not debating upon the thing. I'm only trying to understand uh, when it comes to you know the. Uh, you will not experience the. For example, real world, the I, next one, unless you make the step of faith. I need to pay my salary on on thirtieth ma thirtieth of the month, and if I <laughs> pay on the first of the month, next month, the person will not stay. Now I don't have the money, and, and and what do I do? So your very relationship with God yeah. on a daily basis. This month you don't have. Okay, so you start your business with God by seeking Him and His kingdom. At the same time, practicing what you are learning in your workplace. Yeah. Now has God promised you that He will take care of all your needs? Yes. So you do the A part, B part, he will do. But you are saying, I don't want to do the A part, you give me the B part, it won't I'm work. I am not saying that I am not doing the A part. That is what I am, I am trying to understand. If you are doing the A part, brother, there will be always an excitement. See, hmm. your child first goes to the primary. When he passes, he goes to the no, first standard. Then he goes to the next standard. Hmm. So it, there is always a progressive promotion. Hmm. The progressive promotion is teaching you at what level you have mastered the situation that are coming against you. Mm. And the more and more you are able to master it, the more and more God will take you higher and higher. Okay. See, when you look at the statement, the statement is saying no balance. Mm. Bank statement. But your faith is saying, because God's goodness is running in my blood, okay, that goodness of God will surely bring forth the manifestation because now I'm looking at the goodness of God. So, it is actually practicing day and night to look at things unseen. And the ones who are practicing looking at things that are unseen is the one who is bringing glory to God. And at the same time, he is teaching the world. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. I have got a small segment of it which I am repeating it. I am believing it. I am speaking it. Over and over again, I am acting on it. Now that seed will produce the harvest. It's going to take practice from your side, brother. Yeah. Yes. What is seen is lack. Mm. But what is Paul saying? This, just put that again. That, uh, yeah. What is Paul saying? This light of momentary affliction is preparing. Now that preparation is not a one day. It mm. is a whole process. Mm. So once you realize that it's your preparation time, so will you cooperate with the preparation time? Yeah. So you, you are preparing it for Jesus and at the same time Jesus is working out the other, um, other areas of your life. Mm. To help you master everything by learning to operate by looking at the things which are not seen. Now, looking at things which are not seen, you can also say it. It is this is how faith works. Faith is on things not seen. Mm. So the challenge is: Am I going to believe on things seen or things not seen? Mm.
So things that is seen, and if your focus is there, your pressure will go on working for you, not it will it will build up the pressure. Like you know, brother, it's uh, like a person who's going to the gym and picking up dumbbells. So he's is giving pressure on his arms. This portion will start developing. Mm. In the same way, there's an exercise to your mind that you take this word and you start speaking it. In no time, you will begin to master it. It will give you so much of insight that you will master all the situations which are in your life. Mm. And that's when you will see the change. Uh, brother, one question, Jude here. So, so for this to happen, this verse 17, um, does it assume that we have to, uh, you know, that the entire system you keep talking about, right? Obeying God in all, all areas concerning my life. For example, if it's the, the, you know, the, the aspect of paying salaries. So have I, have I followed God's laws? The other, other areas. Other areas as well. So that will, that will give, click on this area. But they are all interlinked. Mm -hmm. so, but that will take a long time, right? <laughs> hello, hello, brother. Yeah. For 23 years, if I was running a ministry where I needed lakhs and lakhs of rupees to run the ministry, where every every month the retreats were free, the books were free, the CDs were free, and there's no collection, there's no love offering. What makes you think it was easy? But when you understand the system, it was easy. But for the system to work, there was also another thing that we were planting seeds in different areas, in different places, going out and reaching out. And only when the people's problems got solved, they got blessed, they came back with resources. Hmm. So it's not overnight is what you're saying. It's not a magic. Hmm. What, when people believe for miracles, no, they live a most lowest life. Hmm. When people live for the kingdom, they live the best life. Yeah, Jesse. I've got one more, one more time. Un yeah. Please. Yeah, I've got a testimony to say. There was a time when my husband gave up his job and we were doing business and we were almost penniless. But we were living hand to mouth with four, three children. Fourth child came. We don't know what to do. But we, I started claiming... Matthew 6, 33, all the time. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything else shall be. Uh, that everything was not important anymore. For me, it was seeking God's kingdom. It did not matter what others thought about us. What car we went, where we stayed, nothing. We moved from a house to a rented house. I told my children, we have a beautiful rented house given by a doctor. Give whatever rent you want. That was miraculous. And I said, we should be grateful that we have a roof above our head and not be worried about money. We had put in a lot of money by selling assets and things. Nothing worried me, brother. We, I only said, I will seek you, Lord. And miraculously, things started changing. But it never works overnight. I started claiming Exodus 14, 14, that uh, the Lord will fight for you and you have only to be still. I was still working and depending on the word of God, wanting to know it. Knew very little scriptures, but clung on to that script, scriptures. And that was my work. And even today, it is Jesus. My, my goal is Jesus. So other things will come. It doesn't matter. Today, we have much more. But we can still live worrying. We are not, I'm not worried, uh, brother. And even my daughter's marriage, there was a time. No money. My husband said, where will the money come? And... Just before that, I was saying, Lord, I have that faith of a mustard seed, which will move mountains. You will do what is required. And exactly on that time, miraculously things change. Sometimes there is a long wait, but we can, all the time I keep thanking and praising God. I thank God for these afflictions, which brings me closer and close to Christ. Thank you, brother. Okay, I'll, I, will, I will give you an example. Jude, are you ready? Yes, brother. Jude? Yes. Okay. Now tell me, any person in this world, any person in this world, does he have to serve somebody or the other? Yes. So you can be a servant by choice or you can be a servant by force, correct? Yes, yes. Second, when you are serving, 
are you serving with a quality heart or just serving yeah the choice is with me yes so if you are solving somebody's problem when you are serving you are actually solving his problem with yes. quality heart yes correct yes now will that will that give me an opening for my promotion yes so three things i am a servant by choice hmm i serve with the best quality which solves other people's problem my promotion will come from the person whose problem i solve oh now you are working in the company and jos is also working in the company jos is saying i'm working harder than jude but jude is getting the promotion i am not getting promotion the company is looking at how hard you are working or how smart you are working how smart because if jude is bringing 10 times profit to the company and jos is bringing only two times is he qualified to get the promotion no in the same way in your life a person is operating on 10 points of looking at things unseen another one is just on one point will the results be the same no so every day the challenge is what what i'm studying from the word of god and what i'm seeing outside is not the same so what the word of god is teaching you are always things not seen yeah okay okay jo uh, jos yeah jo look at this philippians 44 uh, 48 okay and tell me how many people do this tell me how many people come under this category here 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 is saying do not worry about anything but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known unto god so where is your request given to god where is your care given to god where is your problem given to god correct yeah now he is saying the peace of god which surpasses all understanding will guard your heart and mind in christ jesus who's going to protect you peace of god yeah correct yeah now did he say wait there or did he say after that what to do read baba jos read finally beloved whatever is true whatever is honorable whatever is just whatever is pure whatever is pleasing whatever is commendable if there is any excellence and if there is anything anything unworthy of praise think about hey, this anything unworthy or anything worthy of praise what man anything worthy of praise anything worthy of praise think about these things keep on doing the things that you have learned and received and heard and seen in me and the god of peace will be with you so how many of how many people you find practicing verse number 8 I don't know. I don't think anybody is practicing. So he has already given you the instruction, no? Hmm. If you practice this, this will follow everything. Hmm. Right. It is all interchange. From here will come honorable. From here it will come just. From just it will come pure. From pure it will come pleasing. From pleasing it will come commendable. From commendable it will come excellence. And all this is interlinked one after another. Hmm. Now, did he say, think about these things? Brother Jos? Yeah. Is the Bible saying, think about these things or do these things? Think about these things. So, who's going to do the doing part? God is going to do this part. Your the faith of Jesus is going to do it. Mm. Yes. So every time you are thanking God for a particular thing, are your ears hearing? Yes. So is it generating faith? Yes. So with that faith, 
is going to help you for your future? Yes. Are those resources going to help you? Yes. So he said, do these things. So is it an instruction given to us by God? Yes. So are we following his instructions? The challenge is at what proportion can you keep looking at things unseen? That's why the ninth verse says, keep on. Keep on doing the things that you have learned and received and heard and seen in me. And the God of peace will be with you. Don't you want God of peace to be on the platform with you? Yes. So if you do eight and nine, will he show up? Yeah. So praise God, you got bigger treasure than I got. <laughs> yes. Jude, Jude, my brother, not satisfied? No, it's fine. No. Uh... Now I'm looking at your expression. That's why I want to see the video on. So what is it actually looking at things not seen is getting your mind off the problem. Beginning to think on things that are not seen. Things that you desire. Praise God. Things that you don't see with your physical eyes. You must learn to answer it by the eye of faith. So do we all go through this thing? Every one of us go. So do I need to get my mind off the problem? Yes. So brother, all these, when you say whatever is true, whatever is honorable, just, pure, etc. All of these are pertaining to what I do in the kingdom, right? What you do in the kingdom, but using God's principles. Yes. So it is not, let's say I have a, you know, something, a need for of my own. It's a personal need. Uh, I naturally keep thinking about that need. But here what this verse 8 is telling me, you focus on doing, following that verse 8 in the kingdom, in God's work which he has put out for you. Yeah. But you have to start from here, truth. What? So truth, what truth. is truth? <laughs> truth is the word. The word of God is the truth. Okay. So when you start building yourself on the truth, truth will lead you to honorable life. From there you will find just full life. From there you will find pure life. From there you will find life that is pleasing God. So, so are we looking at our problems? The Bible says, stop looking at your problems. Don't even think about it. Because your, 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 your defeat is going to be when you train yourself to look at things which are seen. The things that I do not see with my physical eye, I must learn to answer those things with my spiritual eyes. That is the eye of faith. So what happens to a person who has got cancer? Can you see the symptoms? Yes. So is he going to allow the symptom to... Huh? He shouldn't. So that's the challenge every day. When I'm opening my mouth and I'm speaking, am I speaking my desires or am I speaking the things that I don't desire? I should speak what I desire according to the word. And the things which you desire, are, are they things seen or unseen? Unseen. Because things which I'm seeing with my physical natural eye is always, always subject 
with a uh, it is things which are seen are always subject to the things which are unseen. So which world is more superior? The things seen or things not seen? Unseen. But what is the world teaching us? Seen world. Why is it doing that? That the God of this world, Satan, can rule over a person as long as he's focused on things not seen. That is why he says the things which are seen are temporary. Is it temporary? Yes. How many of us believe that? That whatever affliction you are going through is just temporary. believe brother because the real challenge is over there everyday challenge is there once you understand the things which are seen are temporary they are bound to change but if I am going to focus on things which are not seen and I am doing some other job using the tools of heaven it will always turn out to be successful Amen Because see, what we are thinking with our physical eyes, things which are seen, and what the word of God says, what the praise and worship is saying, what the introduction is saying, what all those things which are saying, those things, when they refuse to agree with the word of God, then those things will die off by default. Sorry, what is it, brother? When it does not agree ah. with the word of God or the promises of God, then comes the problem. So our everyday challenge is how much can I teach my mind to look at things which are not seen? So, so again and again I'm telling you the same thing. You know why? Because the promises of God are things not seen but carrying the potential to bring things from the invisible to the visible. Agreed? Yeah, brother. So, is the world system shaping the things around us? Yes. Do they seem to be real? Absolutely real. Are they, um, are they believing the word of God says that they are subject to change? Said yes. yes. Praise God. Praise God. So what about the things which are seen? Don't they look like things which are seen are so very pure? Sorry, brother. The things which are seen, ah. okay, are they not looking at the, the things which are seen? Are they not communicating with you? Uh, when you say communicating, what does that mean? Do your eyes communicate to you what you see? Yes. So, isn't that eyes now shaping the things around you? Yeah, my perception of what is around me, yes. But now when you are looking at the same thing with the eyes of faith, of things not seen, now is it the same? No, no. I, I, I think I shared with you about that Rajkumar died, that testimony yes. didn't share. Yes, yes. Psalm 91, I think. Psalm 91. Yeah. Now, was I looking at things seen or things not seen? Not seen. Did I share with you that um, there's, this man was having a, he's still having a resort and there was one person who had threatened him with to, to, to pay him a big amount. This is going to kill him. And the calls kept coming and he was in the resort. When this gang came to the resort, he saw it. He ran for his life. He asked me, what do I do? I said, Psalm 91. So he was hiding in a bedroom, in a, in a particular room and he was reciting Psalm 91. 
these people came, opened the door because they got the master key. They opened the door, and he was in that room on the bed. Those men came, saw everywhere, and left, but they could not see him. Oh. He was weeping and weeping and weeping. Now, there was only one thing that he could rely on. Psalm ninety-one. Did God move for him? Yes. So when I had say, shared this uh, testimony, I had to go to a place in uh, in Bombay where there are slum areas, and there was this man who became my good friend, and he had a rickshaw. So it was a Bombay bun. Okay. And the next door neighbor, that Muslim lady, her time came for delivery. So he began to question, as a Christian, I must take her in a rickshaw. Yeah. The person who is watching him on the road, he's they are thinking he's going in for business. Mm -hmm. So they will burn his rickshaw or something like that. Yeah. So he said, "Give me five minutes." He came to the altar and started sharing this testimony, Lord. You made Brother Johnson reach home with his children absolutely without any problem. There are no rights, nothing touching. In the same way, now you made his children and him invisible. I am asking you to make my whole rickshaw invisible. And he took two trips, and he said, "I never knew that there is so much of power." so was he was he taking this chance for a muslim yes i'll give you another that same muslim the girl was tortured by the mother in law and um, this girl had decided to leave her husband and go and she had called her dad to come and take him take her so he was supposed to reach after 3 days so the same rickshaw driver he told me this is the case so i said okay and he said i'm going to call her to the house and you will have only 2 minutes or 3 minutes because the mother in law will come 100% after her and the mother in law knows that you are preaching the gospel so if she sees you then there will be a right today also so i said what do i do he said hide in the toilet can you believe he put me in the toilet in his house and i'm hiding there and this lady comes and when she comes the mother the wife is standing outside at the door to see whether the mother in law is coming i got 2 minutes in that 2 minutes what should i say i told her just say from today i love my mother in law my mother in law loves me i'm no longer a daughter in law i am a daughter and she is no longer my mother in law she is my mother you only keep saying this much only keep saying this much and i love my mother i love my mother not mother in law i love my mother and imagine that she is your mother and this girl went and did it okay now the problem was the mother in law lost her husband so that's why only one son so now if this girl will take the husband then she will be without anybody right so she wants the son back even though is married I was saying I want my husband back. Poor husband is saying I don't know what to do. If I go to my wife, my mother is saying my son is missing. If I go to my mother, the wife is saying, "Did I? Did you get married to me or to your mother?" Are you following? So I said, just do this. That you say that you your mother-in-law cut that in-law and say she is your mother. Three days on the third day, she gets up in the morning, and she starts weeping for no reason. Who the mother-in-law? She saw a very dangerous dream, and in that dream she goes into a shell. Now this daughter-in-law is taking care of this mother-in-law. Yes. Nada Jude, are you there? Yes, yes. Now when she is taking care of her, she is taking care of her as if she is her own mother. Mm -hmm. Now. Is she, has she invested love in that mother? Yes. Yes. After what, when when the father came, he saw a condition. He said, "I'll come again." Mm -hmm. He never came back after that, because after that, as this daughter started putting love into her mother, she removed the in-law, 
they became very good close friends now she did not have the threat that she's going to take my son yeah problem got sorted out it's good so did i give her long prayers no simple prayer but is she supposed to look into the invisible yes does she have to say it yes, yes. did it bring result yes, yes. what happened jose today you don't seem to be talking to me no 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 you were uh, you know engaged with jose so i thought i will listen <laughs> so it is an imagination uh-huh. your christian life is imagination imagination of what on one side is the sea the word of god on the other side is your natural world mm. so you have to make a decision which one do you want to get connected mm. once you understand that what seems to be real mm. okay is not real mm. but what does not seem to be real those spiritual things are more real mm. so the things which are seen are subject to change in other words things which are seen is a mother and mm. you know things which are not seen is a mother and things which are seen is the child so things which are seen have come from the things which is not seen mm. so once you understand that system now you will be very careful to plant the seeds yeah okay tell me one thing the things that we see do they create images in our mind yes yes now for example i used i told you now start thinking dog yeah did you think dog yes did you think it as d o g or some some uh, animal dog animal dog but when i said dog you could have even thought about the spelling no yeah so i try to you know so with my word did i cre- did i create an imagination in your mind yes of a dog yes which breed i know um <laughs> it's a black dog is what i thought i don't know what breed but small dog small dog okay the pomeranian type small dog. yeah so did that word quickly create an image within you yes now what about the word of god does it create the same kind of image i just spoke word yeah can you quickly imagine dog no i imagine because i have seen it uh, before no brother what no, the dog i can so you are not jesus uh, healing the sick correct so that is so, so that's what i am trying to understand it here your hmm. for example is uh, you know it's easy for me to imagine about the dog because i have seen or, or i see it every day at the dogs so for me when you say dog it's very easy so i am trying to understand here how can i imagine something which i have not seen okay have you have you got two hands baba i have not been to for example you know i have not been to imagine i am not not imagine when i have not been to the us many years hmm. i didn't know how us looks like hmm. i i i would probably to, and when i landed it there it was a different uh, you know place altogether it was exactly maybe some of the things are opposite to my imagination okay so your imagination of things which are not seen how do you imagine the right okay. so you- i will ask do you have two hands yes now did he say lay hands ho oh. is the bible saying in my name when you lay hands on yeah. the sick they will recover yes so uh, uh, which angle you have to lay hands which your angle that does not say which angle no you just make a simple imagination yaar no laying hands is uh, is an action right it's and a, on some everything is action which which imagination has got no action so in your prayer when you say imagine and pray where is yeah, that you have pardon you have to make pictures yeah. you have to make images mm. 
that you are laying hands on the sick. Okay. And when you're opening your mouth and saying, thank you, Jesus, because of you anointing my hands, this person got healed. Mm. Now, can that word of God that you spoke out of your mouth bring forth healing? Yes. Okay, let's put it this way. Can we get somebody who has got any problem? Yeah, today there is an, one person who had sent me a message. Uh, uh, Gitu, Gitu uh, is there? Gitu, she has got a... Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Gitu yes. Paulson. Yeah, you're Julie's cousin, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Gitu, are you the uh, patient? Uh, are you the one... No, who... no, no. My mother is the patient. So uh, she is suffering from this knee pain. Fantastic, fantastic. Can you switch on the video, please? But, but mommy is there? Yeah, yeah, sure. Can you switch on? No, the... no, mommy is there with you? Yeah, yeah, she's here with me. She was listening everything? Yeah, yeah, she was here. Okay. Now, now, now let's take an example. Yeah. Oh, so are you ready? Imagination? Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you, you'll get 100 out of 100. <laughs> if I do what I okay. I, I'm not even asking her what is her problem. She said it's a knee problem. That's enough. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm talking to you, Jos. Are you ready? Yes. Now, before you start praying, the Bible says, "By His wounds you, you have been healed." Right? Yes. So, was Jesus's knees damaged? Yes. Hundred percent. Yes. Any sickness in anybody's body, Jesus has already done it in His body. Yes. Correct. Yeah. So, when you look at Jesus's knees, are they damaged? Yes. Are they broken? Yes. They are not broken. They None not... of his bones were broken. Yeah, okay. The damage is there. Now, when you close your eyes, mm. you only concentrate on the knees. Mm. And you see with your eyes, you start imagining this mama's knees, all those things that are troubled is being sucked out. Mm. And on the other side, Jesus is and is going and fixing up the same thing. Okay. Can you use that imagination? Yeah. And we'll see what happens. We'll be surprised with the result. Ready, Jos? Yeah. Or oh, you are under pressure? <laughs> I'm always under pressure. <laughs> Do you believe God's word, brother? Yes, sir, brother, yes. So why you are under pressure? Okay, what is that lady? Are you there, lady, sister? Yes, yeah, she's yeah. there. So I'm going to speak the words. Jose is going to do the imagination and speak the words back to you. Tell mama to close her eyes and reflect only on the words. Okay? okay? Yeah. Just close your eyes. Yeah. Bring the cross of Jesus before your eyes. And especially his knee part. Now say this, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Your word says. Your word says. That this light momentary affliction. That this light momentary affliction. Is actually preparing me. Is actually preparing me for an eternal weight of glory. For an eternal weight of glory. Without beyond all measure. With, without beyond all measure. Beyond all measure. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Thank you for teaching me. Thank you for teaching me to look not at what can be seen. Look not at what can be seen. But to what cannot be seen. But to what cannot be seen. For what can be seen. For what can be seen. Is temporary. Is temporary. And things which are unseen. And things which are unseen. Are for all eternity. Are for all eternity. The Bible teaches me. The Bible teaches me. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. All your bones were out of joint. All your bones were out of joint. By that pain. By that pain. Our bones are completely healed. Our bones are completely healed. 
So in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I speak to those nerves. I speak to those nerves. Pressure. Blood pressure. Blood pressure. And every other infirmity. And every other infirmity. In the name of Jesus, I bind you. In the name of Jesus, I bind you. I curse you. I curse you. And I command you to be thrown into the sea. And I command to be thrown into the sea. And never come back again. And never come back again. Lord Jesus, I have spoken your word. Lord Jesus, I have spoken your word. I believe your word. I be Lord Jesus, I believe your word. And I thank you that your word always produces the result. I thank you that your word always produces the result. Right now. Right now. This mama's knees are completely recovered and restored. This mama's knee is completely recovered and restored. And from now on. And from now on. I declare the surgery has been done. I declare that the surgery has been done. And her legs are completely healed. And her legs are completely healed. In the name of Jesus, her legs are completely healed. In the name of Jesus, her legs are completely healed. Now ask your mama to stand up and check. It's all gone. Hello? Yeah. Are you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mom is practicing? Yeah, uh, she's just taking her leg, like holding her leg and all. Yeah. Yeah. So a little, a little bit pain is there. 90% is gone? Yeah. So now we are not going to pray. Now tell mommy to close her eyes and say, mm -hmm. looking at Jesus on the cross and say, Thank you, Jesus. I'm completely healed. Make us say one decade, at least 10 times. Okay. Just what do you say? Praise the Lord. Did you, did you have physical contact? No. Spiritual contact? Yes. So did that brought bring healing in a in a body? Brother Johnson? Yeah. Yeah, I was also repeating because I had a pain on my knee and I just did a push up and my pain is gone. So I'm also healed. I'm Ramona Joss. here. I'm Joss. Ramona <laughs> Jesus. Joss. Yes, brother. Thank you, Jesus. Now, is it practical? Just practical. Did you ask God to heal you? Did you ask God to heal anybody? No. Did you pick up the scripture? Yes. Did you speak the scripture back to God? Yes. Did you stick to what he said? Yes. Did you believe on your part? Yes. Grace did his part. Yes. Now, when a person understands this, let's say marriage, mm. the husband is, oh, every day I'm drunk, drinking and coming. Yeah. All this time, what is she calling a friend and saying, hey, today also you'll be drunk. There, the call, then this thing has come, bell has come. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Next day morning, hey, how was your husband? Drunk. Who is making him drunk? The she, wife. Yeah. Yes, the wife. Because she is actually not knowing that she is cursing her own husband. Mm. But the same wife is now saying, Lord Jesus, you have given this man to me. And from now on, I confess, Lord. Mm. There is another person. Uh, she, needs, she needs, uh, her son needs healing. Uh, shiny. But, yeah, shiny. Okay. Uh, brother, she's my neighbor and uh, son 
uh, is 12 years and her brain has got damaged after giving birth uh, on and at the time of delivery okay so do they need to get into the teachings baba yes she is on she is in the thing i mean she is there okay so if it is damaged so can can god restore it yes yes so is the formula going to be the same yes now the boy is getting fits every day okay when he is getting fits every day i score 98 marks out of 100 when it comes to fits my frequency of uh, battle over fits is very high yes so now what you do is you go to that house whenever you get time lay your hand on that boy and rebuke that um, what was i saying fits fits go and lay hands rebuke that infirmity whatever is damaged the boy's brain in the name of jesus be destroyed lay your hand on him and say lord thank you for restoring his health completely okay okay brother he, this is that. my son ha huh? he is my son he is charles just now talk this uh, Sorry, and I spoke to his name is Charles. Okay, he's there. Brother, yes. yeah. You want to pray for him now? Yeah, I'll pray. So, sorry, okay. sorry. <laughs> Sister, can I pray for your child? Yes, yes, brother. Please. Lord Jesus, I thank you that you have given us the creative power, the power to create, the power of authority. The anointing removes the yoke of the devil, destroys it completely. Thank you, Lord, for this anointing. Thank you, for Lord, for this uh, glorious manifestation, and thank you, Lord, that you have. you are teaching us that we should look at things which are not seen so i declare in the name of jesus father that this child will never again have in the name of jesus i curse and i thank you father in the name of jesus that this child has the mind of christ whatever has got damaged when the child was a baby the child the the, the, the child brain is now restored recreated and is functioning perfectly the way you created to function thank you jesus that we have said that prayer and we do not doubt in our heart but we believe what is done it is done thank you and praise you oh father god for healing this child with from fits from other infirmities and making this child absolutely sober in jesus mighty name we pray amen amen hello shiny the child is completely healed of fits okay brother thank you brother child getting fits every day brother is the child getting fits every day yeah every day he gets fits so tomorrow you come and report to us your homework is thank you jesus my child is free from fits thank you jesus my child is completely healed of all infirmities okay brother you want to come and tell us you okay, say sure, sure brother you say there was no fits at all so are we using the imagination and the word yeah will it work it will work yes 
but the bible says that is how the system works so one thing is that as a christian we should not allow circumstances cares of life to create images within us yeah so when you take god's word and you change the things that are seen mm. the things that you don't desire into things that they do desire mm. so when you stop those images being created within you and start creating images based on the heroes in the bible mm. how they were submissive now take god's word and now with your own free will bring a change in people's lives mm. yeah so god's word will change things which are seen yeah please god please god i'll just splash some water on my face and come yes till then you can talk yeah so friends how do you find the bible study how is it uh, is it helpful helping you all or uh, do we need to yes yeah yes well, elizabeth is uh, saying yes <laughs> Is Tachi? Is it uh, helping you? Ah, uh, brother, can I tell? Yeah, please. Yes, brother, very much. Yes. Uh, see, brother, my daughter had uh, white patches at vitiligo, okay? Mm. And then uh, there was no medicine. There is no medicine for vitiligo. Mm. She is in Germany. There are no flights, no medicine, and Germany says the doctor say only do some whatever that. Uh, like michael jackson what he did no that way mm. can you imagine my tension i am in oman mm. and uh, then i came to know brother's teaching okay mm. so i asked uh, him to pray in the sense in the zoom like this only mm. and it was a process and i asked uh, she went to the doctor and i uh, no went to the doctor because she had thyroid mm. and when the doctor saw her face with the white patches he swallowed his spit also because there is no medicine he knows yeah. he didn't tell so me but i had told her yeah. i had told her yeah. you don't worry yeah. baba let the doctor say his report yeah. let's say the god's report because i was trained here in zoom yeah. and she didn't know what to do she came on the way she was crying because it's a very like she is alone there yeah. and then uh, i told her never say anything wrong negative things you just believe in god's word yeah and uh, we will repeat you know by jesus wounds we are healed all the prayers mm. and she was not willing to do much because god knows no why i have to repeat like that she was kind of you know little why i have to say so many times mm. but then i said baba when you take medicine you take no sincerely if it, there is medicine so we will do and i think within 3 months she is so clear and she was scared to go to the horsan because it will be burn and things like that now she is saying i'm so happy mummy Uh, it's see it's gone forever no thyroid by that time my thyroid was, means i got improvement i had that also mm. so this corona time it was such a blessing brother after that for that favor i am sitting here wherever brother goes wherever the teachings are there i am there because it's not only for my because my now is intention is if brother has prayed for my daughter if i got the favor same thing i can do for others and this is my mission now okay and i believe that i can help everybody anybody and everywhere and i see that opportunity and i go and reach out because mm. what and i tell my daughter also never forget the favor what god has given us we will do our work to give back to to the people mm. and this is my test from then you know even if you say don't come i will come somehow i enter into zoom you know there is so much of work mm. this is my because when you asked uh, what is how is the teaching brother because every day there is so much and i am so glued i don't know i i have not see easter came 
I did not bother about food and all. I was just listening to word of God. Mm. And there is and earlier fasting means it was so difficult for me in the sense of oh so much hungry I would become. Now I understood. You know Jesus went through so much. What is there? Why are why are not uh, more people coming and listening to the word? Because so many what is of that? Well, so many of us have benefited. Why are we not bringing in people and making them listen? Ah, we see, see brother. What brother. I, uh, Okay, okay, okay. Say, say, Clara, say. Me, what I'm doing, no, brother? I'm so happy that one day I could talk to your co-host, that Nishant, Nishita. I don't know what's her. She gave me that link. Happy family. Do you know what, brother? I'm yes. every day sending your this link to everybody because this is the short teaching. First, I'll send this. After that, I'll send the JCLM because everybody cannot come to this teaching because yes. of the time problem. Yes. But the later they see in YouTube. Yes. That is my part, and I'm very happy. And uh, for this teaching, because happy families, because short and sweet. Once they come to know, uh, and that's just. Brother, you asked me now why people are not going to come. Yeah. Okay. Because in this, no, mm. the ball is not in God's court; mm. it's in your court. Mm. Then they will be getting into jail. Then what? Because as long as you want to see, if you say come for praise and worship, adoration, intercession, prayer, big group will come. The moment you say for the word of God, not many will come. Because people have not understood the importance. Now tell me, when a when a person is facing a problem, the first thing they will say, pray. Or first they'll say, "Let me study what the Word of God has to say about this problem." Elizabeth, what do you say when you are facing a problem? Can unmute. No, no, my son uh, fell down. So sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just telling Elizabeth. Yes, brother. When there is a problem. Yeah. Firstly, what you used to say? Let's pray. Now is it? Let's pray, or let me see what God has to say—a solution in His Word—and let me follow those instructions. Yeah, Which follow one? those instructions. Has your life changed? Yes. Because in this, no brother, yeah. the whole responsibility is you, not God. But and that, that is why the 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 New Testament gospel is. Mm. Grace with your response of faith, mm. and everything is a gift from God. Yeah. Now the prayer that I made for this mother and the child, mm. it is not because I am powerful, mm. because God is powerful and He is willing to heal everybody, yeah. provided we follow His system. Yeah. Yes. So every day it's a challenge. Yeah. And a person who begins to learn and practice, in no time he lives a victorious life. Yeah. Today's topic is more about thinking, brother, less about talking. Yeah. So we will close it, brother. Yeah, we'll close it. Uh, brother, I have a question. So I have yeah, a, yeah, yeah, please, please, please. Uh, one of uh, somebody who had got in touch with me. So he's uh, mm -hmm. been struggling with finances for the last uh, one year, COVID time. So he's uh, retired, but no proper job. Um, so I sent, I, I kind of gave him um, uh, kind of a initial summary of he's in another place and there's no, he doesn't have a, uh, you know, internet on his phone, etc. He cannot listen to any video. So I conveyed to him a small gist of you know your teachings and also gave him a small document. Um, so did you, I just wanted some guidance on how do I help him to come out of it because he's 
you know he needs money but then um, i think giving him money is not the not the solution we need to teach him to to believe and trust in god in the world get into the kingdom teaching brother okay the the blessings and all that is directly proportionate to how much are you believing yes when the person is believing the scriptures it becomes easy yes so yeah. there are two I, there are two things one you believe the scriptures and on the other side you also take something that you got might be you don't have money but you have got other resources and go and solve somebody's problem okay how how can a person experience success in this life so simple every day you should ask a question how many people's problem do i solve mm. so if you are solving other people's problem so you have planted the seed in due season that seed will multiply and come back to you as a harvest okay that is the kingdom yes the kingdom principle is not to get bothered about yourself the mm. kingdom principle is about how can i make the kingdom more and more beautiful and with beautiful people in it okay that's how it will work thank you brother thanks brother okay. so we'll close brother yeah 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 in the father son and the holy spirit i mean thank you lord for for this beautiful time that you given to us for teaching us the truth for opening our hearts and minds and thank you lord for healing those who were sick lord planting your words in our heart thank you showing that your lamp your word is a lamp to our feet and light to our path lord we believe your word is alive and active as a double edged sword thank you for teaching us to be spiritual and not looking at our own eyes what we can see but things that cannot see thank you for the beautiful examples through which you have taught us thank you for helping us thank you for transforming us from inside out in jesus name we offer all the thanks amen amen thank you brothers and sisters we will meet tomorrow till then god bless you good night god bless